So Disney has announced a Blu-ray box set called The Collected Works of Hayao Miyazaki. Whoa. <laughs> it will include every movie Hayao Miyazaki's ever directed, including The Castle of Cagliostro and Nausicaa that, of the Valley of Wind. Was that, was that a Lupin thing? Yes. Wow. yes. All the way through The Wind Rises. It will also include the pilot film Yuki's Son, and the, which uh, Miyazaki like made all himself, and three episodes of the TV show The Little Samurai, which Miyazaki storyboarded. And it will include a book called The Great Dichotomy, which analyzes the themes in Miyazaki's work. However, uh, it does not include absolutely everything Miyazaki's ever made. Hmm. For example, it will not include the music video On Your Mark or the TV, the, the, the TV series Conan Boy of the Future, which he directed, um, or the episodes of Lupin the Third that he directed. Hmm. So it's you know, just movies and a few other little bits and pieces. Um, this, the, this box set is based on an existing set that was released in Japan and Australia. That set included On Your Mark, but it doesn't seem to appear in this one. Um, on Your Mark is a music video. It's, it's, it's beautiful. Miyazaki uh, directed that um, based on just some folks' work. Um, Disney's Blu-ray set here will be released November 17th on Amazon only. Oh, did amazing. they have a price for it yet? Um, I have not seen a price for it that yet. It'll probably be like expensive. Be great to get. That's like 13 movies, something like that. <laughs> wow. Um, on uh, on <laughs> Blu-ray. <laughs> yeah. So that, 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 it's not going to be 80 bucks, folks, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, uh, we shall see. Uh, yeah, exciting news. Well, uh, the Love Live film mm -hmm. has been in theaters for 50 days now and oh. has made over 17 million dollars so far not bad yeah it's now surpassing earnings from the third madoka magica film back in 2013 oh, okay. uh it's in uh it's uh, in its first three weekends mm -hmm. it was number one number two and number one film wow in japan respectively mm -hmm. uh losing only to mad max fury uh, uh fury road mm -hmm. uh in its second weekend okay man uh, Love Live is a very popular anime franchise mm -hmm. about pop idols, which seem to be gathering more and more steam. Cool. Wow. Um, people like pop idols. Yeah. For reason. Nothing wrong with that. Um, if you've seen images of life-size anime figures at trade shows, and for those watching on the video, yes, that's a oh. life-size figurine. Oh, my uh, figure, goodness. Figure, if you will. Wow. Um, so Rocket News 24 has released a report about how those figures are created. Because it's how? How? Wow. So this company called Design Coco makes detailed computer models of the characters. Then a huge industrial size 3D printer prints them out in pieces. Are you serious? Yeah, absolutely. And those are sanded and painted and assembled. I mean, there's a lot of processing that goes on with all those. You can see the skin tones and all that stuff. In fact, I'm going to scroll a little bit on this on this image. Um, so you can see some of the detail on this. It's slightly NSFW. Um, uh, but we should invite her on the set. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> you can see just the, the details here are just crazy. And again, it is life-size. Um, uh, this is a side-by-side a, a -side of the life-size and then the, the actual figurine that they based her off of. Wow. But you can see there's a lot of detail added here um, compared to that um, in, in the hair textures and, and how it curls and so forth. Wow. Um, and then they, they show in here, as we kind of scroll down, they also have oh. a... Um, Life size. Uh, Toyohisa Shimatsu from Drifters uh, in, in life size with armor and sword and all that good stuff. Also, love all the folks who are just kind of walking by, like, eh, whatever. Um, have them guard my front. <laughs> <laughs> totally. <laughs> uh, they also, and then there's the 3D printer they're using. So it, it can print out things that are, you know, feet on a side. Wow. Mobile feet. Um, so it comes out in this basically plain white or one color, which then gets it's painted and, and processed. They did a life size Madoka Magica, uh, an <gasps> ultimate Madoka. Uh, a while back, which is just stunning, especially well lit. Um, so these are used to, to create these these various characters. Now, obviously, these are very expensive one-off figures that are uh, sold directly to companies and are not available on the open market. You companies can afford. Yeah, it. exactly. You know, ain't gonna be on Amazon. You're gonna be soon. a serious Sorry. fan if you can buy one of these. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I can't imagine shipping it, much less anything else. Yeah. Um, but maybe some, and, and I'm sure it's like maybe in else. parts, in, in parts, some assembly required. Yeah, you know, it gets there three days ahead of time, and they start assembling it. Um, so it's it's definitely it's 3D printing, it comes but with it's a very crew custom. to yeah. assemble it. <laughs> totally. Um, but uh, yeah, that, that's how it gets done. Wow, pretty cool. I want one. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, with an industrial size 3D printer that costs about fifty thousand dollars, you can have one yourself. Hmm. Like Kickstarter. <laughs> there we are. Totally. Speaking of speaking of Kickstarters. Uh, oops. 
uh, I think we're talking <laughs> about the anime trouble in Tokyo thing. Um, oh, I think we went back to the other the other thing. When you're, yep. <laughs> yes. We'll, well, we'll, we'll get there. Uh, let me tell you about uh, 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 Kickstarters. Uh, that new uh, um, the new Otaku Guide to Tokyo is stuck on Kickstarter uh -huh. at one dollar pledged out of an a thousand dollar goal. Darn. Uh, the Kickstarter was conceived by Drew Poyorina mm -hmm. as a series of videos about cool otaku oriented places in mm -hmm. Japan like Pokemon Mega Center mm -hmm. and the Naruto uh, Dragon Ball Z theme parks cool uh, he hasn't done anything on Kickstarter before but he does have two videos on you uh, YouTube channel uh, for you to check out the only backer level is at $20, mm. uh, at which your name will go uh, uh, into the credits to be mentioned. Mm -hmm. There are uh, no rewards, and mm -hmm. there's only 14 days to go. Uh, so, you know, let's see how that turns out. Mm -hmm. If you're interested, uh, check it out on Kickstarter. Yeah, absolutely. It's certainly an interesting project. So the Red Ash anime and game Kickstarters are over, and the dust has settled. So context this is a an official anime studio production and they're trying to fund in thailand kickstarter they're going to do a game and an anime that would sort of interrelate um the anime campaign just barely funded which is good at one hundred sixty-two thousand dollars compared to the one hundred fifty thousand dollars wow. it was asking for so that's Over. good um now the thing is um that was for an 18 minute film and for i think every five thousand dollars over the base they would add another minute of footage oh wow so they've got a few um, minutes here yeah so and that was but, 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 but that was um above one hundred fifty thousand mm. dollars so they're only doing 18 minutes so far um but studio 4c the studio behind this has its own crowdfunding site that it's set up um and it's going to use to try to get more stretch goals as they make the anime they're going to kind of keep it open and going. see if yeah see if more folks can add more money to to extend the length um, of that uh, film, which is currently targeting again an 18-minute runtime. Now the game only got about $520,000 of its $800,000 goal. Games are expensive, mm. but a Chinese company named Fuse Entertainment has stated it's going to step in and fund the game instead. Oh wow! So that's different. Um, so then the half million dollars raised by backers will go towards stretch goals for the game. Yeah. What I still haven't figured out, and I, I should dig back into it, is if you didn't make your goal on Kickstarter, it should end the Kickstarter and all the money goes back to all its backers. So I don't know how they changed that process so they actually got all the money processed. Hmm. Um, it's part of the idea of Kickstarter is you need to make you know your your minimum level. Yeah. Um, so something changed there. Maybe they, they shortened or, or changed the something. I don't know. Um, but the good news is that that money will go to the game um, and the game will get funded and, and made. Hmm. It's kind of interesting. But it's still definitely kind of a surprise. All right, moving on to releases of the week. Um, so let's start with uh, NIS America with three uh, releases this week, starting with The Daily Lives of High School Boys, which is a screwball comedy about high school boys. Uh, complete series standard edition on Blu-ray. That's 12 episodes plus the seven specials. That'll retail for about $50, and that's sub only. There's also Natsume's Book of Friends Season 3, Standard Edition. That's a series about uh, a boy who can, um, who released a bunch of spirits that he's trying to track down and, and get back uh, get, get back and resolve. Uh, 13 episodes plus a 32-page art book, Blu-ray DVD combo pack for that Season 3 Standard Edition for about 60 bucks retail. And then finally, The Troubled, Love, the Troubled Life of Miss Katora, the complete series premium edition on Blu-ray. That's all 12 episodes plus a 64-page art book for about $50 sub only. How is Sentai Film Works doing? Oh, wow. They've, they, they've got a number of releases mm. here. Uh, Sakura Trick, mm. the complete collection on DVD, mm -hmm. and that's uh, 12, uh, 12 episodes. Mm -hmm. And that's going for about $35 subs only. Mm -hmm. uh, Space Brothers, which I can't wait to see yeah, because totally. I've heard so much about this. Mm -hmm. Space Brothers Collection for mm -hmm. DVD. Uh, it's going to be 13 episodes, uh, episodes 39 through 51. Okay. And that's going to go for 35 bucks, which is not, yeah, not too bad a price mm -hmm. in subs. That's what, uh, a little under three bucks an episode? Yeah, yeah. that's doable. Uh, Space Brothers Collection 4 is also on Blu-ray. Mm. And uh, that's going to be for 43 bucks. 
Not bad at all. Yeah. Uh, Sunrise also announced, or is, is also released, um, Turn A Gundam. Uh, I should say Sunrise, uh, the right stuff. Uh, so Turn A Gundam Part 2 is now available for general release. Those of you who bought it uh, pre-release on Right Stuff would have gotten it uh, about a month or two ago, but now it's available for everyone. Uh, so that's the second half of the series, all 26 episodes of the second half on DVD for about 35 bucks, which is pretty darn cheap. Uh, right Stuff also released Please Twins Complete Collection. Those of you who saw the old show Please Teacher. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so this is the sequel series, oh, kind wow. of a sort of spin-off separate show hmm. set in the same universe. Um, complete, complete, complete collection, all 12 episodes, about 28 bucks. That's like two bucks an episode. Now, is Ed Nozumi Entertainment involved on that? Yes. But the uh, right stuff was involved with both Nozomi yes. and Sunrise. So, um, so here, here's the complexity. So um, Nozomi is the wholly owned subsidiary of the Right Stuff Inter uh, International that does all their licensing. Hmm. The Right Stuff did a deal with Sunrise. So Sunrise is working with them, with the Right Stuff, to release Gundam. So Sunrise puts together all the releases. The right stuff just kind of just distribu distributes it. Um, Nozomi licenses anime within right stuff, and then right stuff releases that anime. You got that, guys? That's, <laughs> that's incredible. <laughs> the, it's, it's definitely definitely a soap opera of how things yeah. work there. <laughs> Absolutely. So Viz Media mm -hmm. has Pokemon the series XY Z one nice or is that YX XY <laughs> dyslexia <laughs> and that's twenty four episodes for nineteen dollars that's less than a wow, buck an episode not bad yeah, for a dub hey yeah not not bad and you know good luck finding the sub of that anywhere yeah <laughs> except on certain well, streaming sites yeah. and, and and such and uh, <laughs> great thanks to AnimeNewsNetwork dot com and the DVD Talk Forum yes for helping us out with this week's news. Absolutely. That's the news for this week. Thanks, guys.